Good morning, friends, and welcome to the channel. I just came back from my road trip to the Harz, and today I cleaned my classic 350. It was completely covered with flies and bugs and uh, dirt everywhere, so I had to clean it, polish it. Now it looks fine again, and I went back to the one-seat solution. So I took off the pillion seat. In my opinion, this looks better than the version with the two seats and the luggage rack on the second seat. This is a little bit more compact, especially with these alloy rims. I think it fits quite good. But today I will do something else. I will mount new mirrors because these are the touring mirrors and I will take them off. I ordered some new ones and I will show you which ones. So these are the mirrors, they are from Halcyon, some classic mirrors made in England. And you know I had the ones from Stadium, but the round ones, these have a different shape because these are the rectangular ones. Completely different shape. Here it's written, made in England. So it's high quality product. And yeah, hopefully it looks better than the round ones because the round ones, for my taste, they have been too small. And these ones are a little bit bigger, so you have a better view to the back. I will mount them and let's see how they look and if I have a better view on them compared to the round ones. So these are from Halcyon. The other round ones I had were from Stadium. Let's mount the mirrors and have a look how they fit to my Classic 350. As you can see, I have these extensions here. These are from SV Motech. I will leave them on the mirror just in case I want to mount them again. So just detach the extension here. There's one screw here inside. You can loosen it with an Allen key. So very easy. And now I can take it off. Here is a ball mount on the screw. I don't know if I will leave it there. So, and now everything is gone. To cover these holes here, I will use some aluminum screws. So, perfect. Covered up, looks much cleaner and better than without. So on the other side, so to get one ball mount here for my camera, I could either do it like this, to use this one here, this ram mount with a screw from the other side. This should be okay. Let's see how it looks. So this looks good. I have a ram mount again. The hole is covered. It's very stable, going nowhere. This is how it looks like. The old mirror is gone. The holes are covered. Same on the other side. Yeah, very nice and clean. And now let's start to mount the mirrors. I first to take off these weights here. Mounting the mirror is very easy. Here's the mirror. You have an adapter with it. Just put it in here. Then one screw, which gets in here. Hopefully it's not too long, let's see. Because the hole here is not open completely. But, yeah, it works. So, first I bring the mirror in the right position, like that. I will tighten the screws, this one and this one later, when I'm on the bike, to bring everything in the right position. What is quite good, I think, maybe it could be also in this position, so a little bit closer to the handlebar, because when I put it outside, this was one thing I didn't like on the round ones, they are standing very much outside, so I would prefer to have them here, 
but because they are wider than the round ones, you still can view everything. Now let's have a look. So second one, mounting these mirrors is really easy. First the weight off. Then the mirror with the adapter inside. Just bring them in the right position like that. And I will do the rest of the tightening when I'm on the bike. So this could be a little bit more up. To loosen it here. Oh, it's so windy, I hope you can understand something today. It's so windy. So let's see. One more down like that. Just a bit more inside. More down. So I have two possibilities now. First is to leave it like that or to bring the mirrors to the outside. But as far as I can see, it's okay like this because I don't have my arms in the view. The mirrors are wide and quite big. So I don't have to fold them completely outside because the handlebars get quite wide then. So I prefer to have them over here and then bring them in the right position. Now I tighten it here in the back. Not too tight, just, just a little bit. And then I will tighten the mirror itself without changing the position. So I still can move the mirrors to the outside, to the inside. If you don't want the mirrors to move too easy, you want to have them a little bit more tight, then you can Tighten this screw here at the front. Yeah, this looks very, very good. More to the outside. More down. That's it. Tighten it carefully. Number one. Now I have to check the look of it. Completely different than the round ones. But in contrast to all the turn signals which are round, the LED fog lights which are round, I think it's a good contrast with the square mirrors. Looks very nice and now from the front. I think this looks really, really nice. Gets again this classic look. A little bit more chrome again. And I still have the round ones. So just in case I want to change again, just a matter of two minutes. So to change the mirrors, this is really, you saw it, it's very fast, it's five minutes. So just in case I don't like them, maybe I can mount the round ones again, or I go for the standard or for the touring mirrors. So I have, five, it's so crazy, I have four different mirrors now. But at the moment, these ones, from the look, they are my favorite ones. So maybe I will keep them. So this is how Sam looks now with these new rectangular bar and mirrors. Gets his classic look again. And everything is clean and shiny again. And I'm back to the single seat with the luggage rack on top of the fender. So the view to the rear is very good. I have nearly no arms in the view. And this in this inside position, yeah, the mirrors could be also outside here. Of course, then you have no arms, nothing that's blocking your view. But this makes the bike, especially when they are turned around, very wide. So in case you are in the city, you want to filter, in my opinion, this is a little bit too wide. So I think this is a better position and because these Rectangular mirrors are bigger than the small round ones. You see a lot, even in this position. With the round ones, this would not be possible. We have to keep them outside, but these ones are very good also in this closer position. Now I will see how it looks when they are outside. 
so so and this is how it looks like when the mirrors are completely outside I mean of course now the the rear view is very good I can see behind me to the side very good rear view on both sides left and right side it's just a matter of taste of course now nothing is disturbing anymore here with my hands and as long as I'm not filtering so when I'm cruising on the country roads it doesn't bother me if they are a little bit more outside price wise uh, they are of course not that cheap with shipping and uh, taxes and uh, everything together I think 150 euros something like that 160 yeah I get used to the mirrors of course you have to look a little bit more down this is also a thing you have to keep in mind because when you have the mirrors up here it's just your eyes going to the side now I have to turn my head really down and this means your your view is for a second not on the road anymore Okay friends, that's it for today. Mounting of the Halcyon bar and mirrors, very easy. Look very good in my opinion. They're not standing out so far like the round ones. You find the mirrors on the website of Halcyon. That's where I bought them. So this video is not sponsored. I buy everything by myself. All the Royal Enfield parts, all the accessories that I mount, everything paid by myself. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't do it already, please subscribe to the channel. And I see you in the next one. Ride safe and cheers.